Hello and welcome to Neurotech Lectures. Today we will discuss about the brain. The brain is the part of central nervous system. Brain is housed inside the bony covering called the cranium. Between the skull and brain is the meninges which consists of three layers of tissue that cover and protect the brain and spinal cord. From the outermost layer inward they are dura mater, arcanoid and pia mater. Inside the brain there is a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid which is found within the brain and it surrounds the brain and spinal cord. The cerebrospinal fluid is secreted by the ventricular system and it is also distributed by it. The brain is divided into three parts. These are forebrain also called prosencephalon, midbrain also known as mesencephalon and the hindbrain which is also referred as rhombencephalon. Forebrain is divided into two parts, the telencephalon and the diencephalon. Let's discuss about telencephalon. The telencephalon is a highly developed anterior part of the forebrain consisting of cerebral hemispheres. The largest part of the human brain is the cerebrum which is divided into two hemispheres. Each cerebral hemisphere consists of an outer gray matter also called cerebral cortex and inner white matter. The outermost layer of the cerebrum is cerebral cortex which consists of four lobes. The frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe and the occipital lobe. The frontal lobe is involved in thinking, planning, problem solving and decision making and Parietal lobe is involved in object classification and knowledge of numbers, whereas the occipital lobe is involved only in visual processing. And the temporal lobes are involved in memory, understanding language and the speech. The second part of the forebrain is diencephalon, which consists of thalamus and limbic system. The thalamus serves as a central clearing house for all sensations. The main function of thalamus is to relay sensory signals to the motor cortex. Motor cortex is a region of cerebral cortex involved in planning and control of voluntary movements. The limbic system is a complex set of brain structures located on the both sides of thalamus. The limbic system consists of hypothalamus, amygdala and hippocampus. Let's discuss the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus lies at the base of thalamus. The hypothalamus contains number of centers which control body temperature, hunger, thirst and blood pressure. The secretory cells of hypothalamus secrete hormones called hypothalamic hormones. The amygdala are almond shaped structures located on either side of the thalamus. Amygdala is a seat of feelings. The amygdala functions to associate sensation with the pleasure and punishment. The amygdala is involved in sexual arousal due to the emotions which are the part of this process. The hippocampus consists of two horns that curve back from the amygdala. The hippocampus is important to long term memories. Let's discuss the midbrain now. The midbrain also called mesencephalon is located between thalamus and hypothalamus of the forebrain and pons of the hindbrain. The midbrain is associated with vision, hearing, motor cortex and sleep wake cycle. The midbrain is considered as the part of brain stem. Last part of the brain that is the hindbrain also called rhombencephalon. The hindbrain consists of medulla oblongata, cerebellum, pons and reticular formation. The medulla oblongata has reflex centers for vital tasks like breathing, heartbeat, blood pressure, coughing, swallowing, cumping, sneezing and vomiting. Cerebellum The generalized function of the cerebellum is to receive information regarding any movement in the progress to balance the position of body in space. Pons located above the medulla oblongata and below the midbrain the function of pons is to control the facial nerve that control the facial expression. As the part of brain stem, the pons can also exert some influence on respiratory movement and sleep. The reticular formation is the network of neurons 
running throughout the brain stem receiving both sensory and motor nerve tracts the function of reticular formation is in sleep and consciousness the brain stem is the stem like part of the brain the brain stem connects to the spinal cord and consists of medulla oblongata pons and midbrain the brain stem provides the connection between spinal cord and the rest of the body the functions of the brain stem the brain stem controls the flow of messages between the brain and the rest of the body it also controls consciousness whether one is awake or sleepy so that was our lecture please like and subscribe our channel thank you